Okay, so tonight, game one, Western Conference Finals. The winner of this series goes on to the NBA Finals. Let me tell you something. This is not Golden State's first rodeo. We all know that they've been to five straight NBA Finals. They've done this before. They're not new to this. They still have their core, Curry, Draymond, and Clay. You didn't think they was going to see, that they weren't going to teach Gary Payton Jr. how to win? You didn't think uh, they wouldn't teach Andrew, Andrew Wiggins how to win? I mean, you didn't think they would teach Jordan Poole how to win? And let me tell you something about the Warriors. They are one of the, one of the best teams in the league when it comes to developing talent. They took Jordan Poole and turned him into a lights-out, knockdown shooter from range. Like, from all over the court, it doesn't matter. They made Andrew Wiggins way better than he was in Minnesota, or anybody he's played for, for that matter. Golden State develops talent. This is not their first rodeo. I'm talking about the Dallas Mavericks and what they need to do coming off that Game 7 annihilation of Phoenix the other night. And it's going to start on defense. The Golden State Warriors are probably the best team in the league and have been for a long time when it comes to off-ball movement. They move that ball. They move without that ball. They get each other involved, and they play team basketball. Dallas is going to have to prepare for that. Even though Golden State isn't better than Phoenix, I think offensively they still know how to move that ball and how to put points up on that board without having them <laughs> without having to move the ball nobody's ball dominant they all share the ball they all share the rock it's also going to come down to consistency the Dallas Mavericks role players are like a roller coaster they're up and then they're down um they're going to have to step up tonight and they're going to have to be consistent and you cannot depend on Luka to do everything I mean, you just can't do it. Y'all are going to have to come together. Y'all are going to have to be consistent on both ends of the floor. Maxi Kleber, Reggie Bullock, Jalen Brunson, they're going to have to step up. I mean, when they step up, they are lights out. And then when they don't, they look like a JV basketball team. <laughs> no other way to put that. Number three. Will the Game 7 victory over the Suns affect them tonight? I mean, we saw Boston, they came off a Game 7 upset of the defending champion Milwaukee Bucks, which I believe if Chris Middleton wasn't hurt, the Bucks win that series in six, but that's another story for another day. Um, Dallas is going to have to come in here, and they're going to have to put that out of their mind. I mean, you knocked off the top team in the West. Now you're going to have to do it against really the second best team in the West. You're going to have to stop Steph Curry. You're going to have to get game seven out of your head. This is a new new series, and this is for the right to play for the NBA championship. Why don't you let me know what you think in the comments? Continue to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and tell everybody about what we got going on. I'm Rico McGee. This has been the Sports Minute, and as always, we'll see you in a minute.